Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back. So I took my old set off that we did a couple of videos ago. They were on for over two weeks and my nails are like a really nice length. So I did a little bit of a Born Pretty Builder Gel on them and just prepare them for this video. I hope you're all okay anyway and I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I didn't really get to, to speak much on that last video, did I, Mother's Day video. Um, I just spent a little bit of time with my mum and with my mother-in-law and with my kids and my partner and it was a really nice Sunday, relaxing Sunday, which I kind of felt like I desperately needed just like a day off sort of thing. It's just been absolutely hectic on top of like appointments and homeschooling, looking after my mum, making sure my dad's okay, um, but yeah. So it's been rather hectic. So let's crack on with this uh, tutorial anyway. So the index finger, completely ignore what I'm doing. I do it completely wrong. <laughs> um, so I, to get the effect that we finish with, thinking about it now, um, I should have done an ombre from the very start, pink at the cuticle, turquoise uh, for the rest of the nail and then ombre it together don't know why I did it this way I, I, I don't know I don't know what was going through my head but that's how I would do it so I'm making a little bit of a glitter mix uh, of my own so I'm just taking some iridescent pink flaky chunky bits taking some it's like like a rose gold kind of tiny glitter and um, this is from the last haul that we did we got like a pack of six I think all different colors so I chose the pink one out of that and then we, I used like an iridescent clear chunky that I'm really, really mm -hmm. close to running out of. Um, stop messaging me, please. Tiny, tiny iridescent pearlescent, tiny chunky glitter, and then a really fine white snowy iridescent sparkly beautifulness. Oh, as well, I've just purchased a projector. I've never had a projector before. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. So we ordered, uh, you know, when like lockdown first hit and we had to homeschool regardless, um, we ordered a massive whiteboard. Um, and then once they all went back to school, we just shoved it in the garage and then we cracked it back out. We realized, hang on, we've got this huge whiteboard. So we've been doing that. And then at night time, I'm getting all like lessons put together and then I'm writing it all out on the whiteboard. And I was like, there's gotta be a better solution to this. Well, why a, a projector? Oh, it's just, it's brilliant. Don't know why we haven't ever had one before. I love it. And I was shocked at how cheap they actually are. It's like, they're not, they're not cheap. Uh, they're affordable. If you're looking at like five years ago, you're expecting to pay a couple of hundred quid. Uh, I paid, I don't know if it was 50 pounds or 60 pounds, but it was like one of the cheapest ones on Amazon but the reviews were fantastic. Um, but it was like a, is it too good to be true sort of scenario. And it came and it's it's amazing. I keep saying it's amazing, it is amazing. <laughs> right, so I used, which one did I use? Was it Meet Me in New York? Oh, I can't remember, I'll put it on screen. Um, so I've used a bit of that and then I cured that. And while the tacky layer, the good thing with Madame Glam polishes is it hasn't got a very sticky tacky layer like once it's cured um but i just stuck a bit of glitter down to that tacky layer and then i put a tiny bit of base coat over just to seal it in and i just used like a cheap uh dedicated top coat and a base coat for things like this just in case a little bit of glitter sly rogue glitter gets in you don't want it to ruin any designs so yeah a little bit of glitter on the tacky layer a little bit of base coat give it a cure and then another little bit of base coat tiny tiny amount and then whack all of your glitter onto that and if you're pinicky pinick is pinicky is that a word finicky picky and finicky finicky are they words it's finicky i don't even know now um I might just be smashing words together i do that quite often um, yeah, use a tiny 
tiny brush and pick up little individual bits. I just wanted that line between the pink and the green to be hidden slightly. Um, so I cured that, brushed off if there was any loose glitter and then I've gone in with the rubber base gel from Born Pretty. Uh, so I started off with the a really, like there was hardly any product on the brush and then I just rub it into the nail and then I go back in, get a blob and build that nail, like encapsulate all that glitter. But again, if you are going to do this or if I'm going to do it again, I'm definitely just going to go straight in with the pink to green ombre because I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to go the way I went. Uh, but we're going to do that pink entirely on the thumbnail and then we're going to use that turquoise to go on the pinky nail. They're going to have two coats each and then I'm going to top coat them and I'm going to add a little bit of jazz to them, a little bit of jazz. So this is just some chrome powder that I picked up from Sheen. Um, it's not the best, but it is quite nice. Now if I thought about it again, a bit of a, I feel like this design was a bit of a rush. <laughs> now I'm looking back. Um, I probably, probably would have used those liquid Aurora powder, liquid chrome powders from Born Pretty, uh, but I didn't. So I've added a base and a, no, a top to that plain nail, the middle nail, and I've done the chrome powder on that. I'm going to seal it in with a base coat um, because we want to add a little bit more. So I've wiped off the sticky layer. This was a freaking nightmare, just so you know. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me. I just couldn't do a French, a tiny, tiny, simple French, and I just couldn't do it. I was wiping it off, adding it thicker too thick oh it's just then it was too like deep and then i'd slip and it would mess it up when i was like oh this is so good i'll just do the other side and then my hand slipped so i had to keep wiping away and yeah it just wasn't going to plan but i kept my calm in the end <laughs> and it worked out all right in the end uh, but the same once i cured that pink and then i had to go in with a really thin turquoise um and that didn't even want to play nicely either to be honest yeah i just don't think i should have had a french on my nail in the end <laughs> i should have gone for a different design maybe but it looks all right if you if you squint talking about squinting i've noticed i've been squinting an awful lot i wear glasses well i should wear glasses only for like reading and watching tv or going on the computer or things like that um, but I've noticed I've been squinting a lot more. This is just some base coat that I'm putting on. Um, and then I'm going to sprinkle some glitter, that glitter mix over the top and give that a cure. Um, so I am due an eye test in June. But I thought uh, I, I must have booked it early. I had a phone call yesterday. It said, don't forget you've got your eye appointment tomorrow. Um, I was like, oh, OK, but I don't remember booking an appointment. But I went and she confirmed that basically, yeah, my eyes have got worse. Um, my left eye considerably more than my right. So I've books, booked, I have brought some new glasses. Um, they're getting made and hopefully they look all right on my face because I've got wonky ears and they just sit wrong. <laughs> so I'm hoping they look half decent. So I'm adding a little bit of that uh, pink. I can't remember what it's, I think it's I Love New York or meet me in the hang on i love ny by madame glam uh kind of close so i've added a little bit of that to the right side of that glitter line that we've done and then that turquoise a636 from beetles to the right side i'm going to do the exact same thing again once that's all cured get the what's it called base gel Rubber base gel from Born Pretty. Yeah, Born Pretty, oh my God, what is wrong with me? Uh, make sure that there's hardly anything on the brush and rub it all over so that you've got like a, a slip solution sort of thing, a slip, not a slip solution. <laughs> you've got a slip layer uh, ready for that gel to be applied. I swear it's like I've been drinking or something. I promise I haven't. Uh, and then just bloop it down the nail only way I can describe it 
I have one day off of doing voiceovers and I forget how to talk. So that's fun. Uh, so with the lightest bit of pressure, you put the, the, the main bit goes on at your apex and then you, with the lightest bit of pressure, drag it down towards the free edge. Um, and then with a thin brush, you can manipulate and move that gel to the side walls and to the free edge and around the cuticle area, making sure that those bits have got like the thinnest bit possible. So we're going to top coat all but the thumb and the ring finger. Is it? Have a look at my hand. All but the middle and the thumb. Because I'm grabbing that McCart rhinestone glue gel. And I'm going to do a little bit of rhinestone goodness around the cuticle for my thumb. So I've used three of the same size. They're in the middle size section. <laughs> Of the box and then I've used the next size down to put one at either side of that and then again the next size down so the smallest one added the caviar beads in between all the gaps give it a top coat give it a cure and then for the middle finger I've just done one in the middle at the cuticle and two small ones either side filled it in with some caviar beads top coated and cured I absolutely love how they've turned out they do need a little bit of moisture, a little bit of uh, cuticle oil, but we fix that in a moment. Um, but yeah, look how cute they are. So I showed my kids, my daughter, well, they're not kids, kids anymore, are they? Uh, I showed my daughters and they were like, oh, like one of them said like cupcake vibes. One of them said ice cream vibes, um, sweet vibes sort of thing, like unicorn sparkle. And I was like, yes, love it. Mm -hmm. And my phone will not stop going off. My dad overdosed my mum earlier. That's probably what my text message is to say that she's okay. She, she didn't, she's on half a tablet of potassium a day uh, for a heart. And she asked for two tablets of something. The boxes are very similar. She'd already had the half tablet of potassium. Um, and he grabbed the potassium again and gave her two tablets. Mm -hmm. But she's okay. Everything is fine. <laughs> he was on the phone panicking to me. Quick, I've done something wrong. So I rang the doctor's explained everything they called everyone up and was like it's absolutely fine do not worry so yes uh, so i'm gonna have to keep an extra close eye on them now thanks so much for watching i really do hope you like this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i'll see you on sunday bye